want to get just kind of a lot of times this time of day you've been sitting maybe at a desk or rushing around from thing to thing so just take a second i would like to move the body with a few of the same moves and just signify it to your brain this is our time to work out and i put this quote today as my mantra for the week um be where your feet are at right now and of course you're where your feet are at right now but what i mean by that and whatever we're doing this is what we're doing right now so try it's 15 minutes put away the phone if you can and let's show my zone um try to really focus on this class for the next 15 minutes and we're going to start uh if you've got to wait we're going to start with our left arm we're going to bring our elbow towards our thigh. So we've got 30 seconds of a standing front crunch. We're gonna start standing and then work our way down to the floor. All right, good officially afternoon, everybody. We have got Brittany, Melissa, Mom, Cece, Christina, Jamie, Erin, yes, Daniela, Leanne, Kay, Amanda, Alyssa, Team Kipple in the house. Katie, Kelsey, Amanda, Dar, Jenny, Cleo. I know what you're thinking. There's this many people in July logging in. Heck yes, one more. And then go ahead, switch it over to the other side. So the goal to really get our core working, and this is complete core, so we don't sit and do crunches for 15 minutes. We're doing functional core work, is to keep that spine nice and long. Work with your breath. Hello, Molly, Jenny, Jen. We've got like 10 or 15 different states already represented. I'll try to do a shout out. There we go. Nice, Brittany. Nice and controlled. Katie's coming in. I love it. Dar's taking a work meeting while she's working out. Get her done. Two, one. Okay, next one. This is one of my favorites. Turn the right foot out. Left foot faces me, wide arms, the oblique roll down. So when we come down, this is this left side is what we're really lifting and engaging on the way up. So we don't want to reach over our head. We can always take our hands to our hip. And then even if you put kind of pinch your fingers there, squeeze it up. Ah, this one feels good, but it's so sneaky good. All right, we got Washington in the house, switch it up. Colorado, Florida, Wisconsin, Oregon, Pennsylvania, Texas. Like that is so, you guys know how much I love that. It never gets solved. Uh, let me get in and make sure I'm not missing any of our great states. Of course, California. Two, got a six of us on our, my zone live here, two, one. Next one, we'll take the toes out, take the weight behind your left thigh. You're gonna plie, side truck. So this is first step. And then if you wanna add, oh, that didn't go so well. Uh, that, I thought it was gonna go into the TV. <laughs> take it down. It's okay, you have Cece here. She could take over if I knocked myself out. Down, option to add and we're lifting, we're not throwing that leg around. Yeah, beautiful team. Katie looking good. Okay, I say Wisconsin. Oh, it's Cleo with you, Katie, I love it. So we have three, mother, daughter, this is so fun. We have three, two, one, other side. We have three mother, daughter duos. My mom, Team Kipley, Cleo and Katie, lift lower so if that lift doesn't feel good just stay with the side shrug beautiful molly down lift perfect about five more seconds oh, cool. look at breathing good and i just feel water all over myself three two one okay we're going to take our right foot in front Left foot long and back. Depending how you feel, you do not need to straighten the arms if that's too much on the back. You can also lower the weight. We're gonna lunge up into this warrior. We're gonna knee drive 
bring it out, come back. We're gonna be making our way to the floor after this. In, out, back. So this is functional stuff, right? Moving our body around, balancing, important stuff. When we think about activities of daily life, having a functional life that starts with F-U-N. Woo! Three, beautiful, Jen. Two, there you go, Katie. Danielle looking good. Nice, Leanne. One. Okay, whew, so just feet up. Take it back. I know it's not a cardio class, but I'm getting pretty high. Here we go. In, out, back. Try to steady that breath. That your breath is the tool when we strength train. Take it up. Yeah, the heat, though, you'll notice the heat has a huge impact on your heart rate. Out, back. Little bit of booty here because why not? Nice, Aaron. I love it. We got, and oh, I do see the dog behind you, Jamie. I was gonna say, where's my friend? Gorgeous, Christina. Two, one. Okay, we're gonna start to make our way down to the floor. You guys, my favorite transition to get down to the floor is the inchworm. I have options to stay standing the whole time. So the inchworm, think about an inchworm's legs, they're really short. They've got a strong core. Their whole body is like their core. So they take really small steps. So they take them strong. And then your standing option is again, flat back. Lift the heels, lower the heels, reach it back up. So walk it down. Nice, Kay, that was awesome. That was beautiful. Um, <laughs> Amanda lost her mat. Her dog took it. Dog nap. Nice, Cece. Beautiful. I think you're going to have to give that one up, Amanda. Four. Amanda's dog literally came and hijacked her mat. That was the cutest thing. Penny, I took her for a walk. She would not come back. So she got like an extra 30 minutes of crazy. She's like so tired. Nice. All right, this last one. We're going to hold it out. Drop to your knees, but with a shorter class, maybe you can challenge yourself a little bit more. Coming to the floor is functional, right? We come down, down, up, up. I talk about the up, down. What if you had to peel yourself off the floor? What if you fell down and you had to get back up, right? So we can drop the knees down, down, up, up. And if we're staying off the shoulders, we come right here. Keep the elbows high. Keep them together, right between the shoulder blades. Yep, yeah, perfect. Right there. Perfect, mom. Nice. Melissa. Yes, Brittany. Gorgeous Christina. Get the elbows all the way together, team. We've got, we're halfway down the class. If you're wondering why it's so quiet, I don't have any children here right now. Three, two, one. Okay. Here's our last plank exercise, slow mountain climbers. You control your breath here if you're looking at those heart rates. A lot of strength in, out. If we're standing, there we go. Right there. Yeah, really drive that knee up. Beautiful, Amanda. Katie, Clea, Life, Molly, Amanda, Jenny, hello, Linda, Kelsey. Oh, nice job, team. I love it. Yes, gray and low blue. Very good. Who's that crazy lady in the green? It's me. I'm talking. Four. Two more. Two. One, we're gonna slide it around to a seated position. You can always sit in a chair or if you're comfortable to come on down. Okay, we're gonna row, row, twist, twist. So you get just a little bit of that active, different activation, row. Then the feet coming off the floor, make this a little more challenging.
That's Brittany. Beautiful, Melissa. Cece. Yes, Cleo, Katie, there you are, Dar. Three, two, one, hold. Give me a thumbs up when your quake is a shaking. So your insides. Ooh, we had a real earthquake today. I was up in June Lake, but it was fell all down. It was um, in Smith Valley, so just east of like Bridgeport. But it was like a 5.9. It was a, a doozy, like a slow roller. If you haven't been to California, go check those earthquakes out. Three, two, one. The funny thing, all right, here we go, roll ups. Sherry, trainer Sherry, come down one vertebrae at a time. So I just wanna talk, then I'll tell my story. We can touch behind our head, lift our arms back up, but don't use your arms, don't thrust your arms forward. You really want it from the shoulders, start to lift yourself out of the roll up. So Sherry was visiting with her family up in Tahoe. I don't know if Sherry felt an earthquake, but she got one. Lift it up. Perfect, really elongate that spine. If you don't go all the way back, that's okay. You just sit back as much as you can. Another uh, way to ease into the roll up would be to come flat to your back and then just try to lift up a little bit, lift those shoulder blades off the ground, place them back down. So just a little lift, three, two, one. Okay, frog or crunches, I have a standing version for this. Your feet, your heels are together. You're gonna straighten your legs, touch your toes, and then come back out. The closer you come to the floor, the harder. And then if we want to lift the shoulders, bring the elbows to the knees. In. Out. In. Out. Your standing option, we have about 45 seconds here, would be just coming up to the tippy toes in this plie and taking it down, really engaging here. You're going to get some inner thighs as well. Take it down. Squeeze it up, take it down, squeeze it up. Perfect, nice, Jamie, these are tough, these are tough. Watch the low back, four, three, two, one. Two more moves, you like these? I have a standing version too. On your back, knees above hips, wrists above shoulders, slow count bird dogs. One, two, three, in same count. Two, three, if you're standing, same thing. Extend your arm in front of you, your leg behind you. Three, the slower, the harder. Two, three. So here we come out, opposite arm, here we go. One, two, three, in, two, three. Then just switch it out. One, two, three, bring it in, two, Three, nice team. Really work on that extension. Oh, I thought your dog was on its back next to you, Amanda, like literally doing bird dogs. Yeah, you got it, Danielle. Three, two, one, and in our final exercise, let's flip around to our stomach or standing. We're gonna take it to the Superman, our back with the lat pull down, out, back down. So up. Squeeze us out, back down. We can also be right here. Squeeze, back up. So we bring it out, 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 in, in, in. This is it, team. We get the finale. Nice song. There you go. Gorgeous, CC. Yes, nice, Jamie. Try to squeeze and lift behind you. 15 minutes, right? It's worth it. Well worth the investment in your time. You've got five, four, three, two, one. If you're down on your stomach, push up to all fours. If you're standing, bend your knees, take your hands to your thighs and just take a couple of cat cows.
Still ready. Well, that was awesome. Everyone just dipped until I started talking again. Back into the gray. So recovery, we always talk about that, right? Bringing it up and down. Big inhale. Take your hands together, slide them down. You didn't miss a Monday. That is always a good thing. So a lot of you here for several times today. Oh man, how hot is it gonna be by? That's crazy, 75 in my house. All right, by Alyssa. Your dog was cracking up. Totally laying on his back. I was laughing so hard. I'm like, Chase, you need to take a picture of this. Okay, that's what it looked like he was with all four of his paws up. I'm like, dang. Did he get a picture? No, he was okay, like, mm -hmm. I was like, her dog is literally doing bird dogs with her. That was the cutest thing. Since I have to wear shoes now because my heel, I'm out in the hallway, not in my like gated workout place. Oh, okay. He just thinks it's glorious and drives me nuts all the time. Yeah. That's fun. That's fun though. Bye. Happy Monday. Bye.